Hi, welcome back. This is uh, Microsoft Services Azure Infrastructure Exam 70-533. My name is Ashish. In the previous video, we covered all the settings, the application settings that Microsoft Azure provides when you create an Azure web app. In this video, I will tell you the custom domain and the SSL binding feature for the Azure web app. So as soon as you create a web app, you get this URL, which is HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash assertest.azurewebsites.net. Assert test is the name that you gave when you were creating a web app. Azurewebsites.net is by default added to every Azure web app that you create on Microsoft Azure. If you will click on this and try to browse it, you'll see a default page which says your app service is up and running go to your apps quick start guide in the azure portal you get started with deployment documentation i told you about the deployment options that you have when you make a web app so these are the deployment options we covered that part in the previous nugget but in this nugget we are not going to discuss this thing but i'm going to tell you you will not tell your users or your customers if you are doing for a company that okay visit assertest.azurewebsite.net this is the name that you have given for yourself for your organization to be aware that this web app is created maybe you are creating an api app logic app which is useful for inter internal communications within your website so let's say you want to give a custom domain name you want to give it any name ashish arora.com or abc.com anything so you will have to add that host name here which would map to this and the back end how we do how do we do it so we go to our dns provider let's say i have a dns provider for one of i have that on the I am sorry. I have that on GoDaddy. I have few domains on the GoDaddy. So let's say on one of the domains that I have, I would map that domain name to this assert test website that I have created. Okay. So I would go to my products. You can have any third party DNS. I like GoDaddy, that is why I have that on here. Let's say I this is one of the domain names that I'm not using. I don't know why I bought that. I bought that dot com version as well. So see what does it tell you? It tells you that let's say I add this. I want this web app to use stop being lazy dot in domain name. So for this to work, either I can make a CNAME entry. How would I do it? I will make a CNAME entry which will point to my root domain, which is so let's say when anybody visited this domain, stop being dot lazy dot in at the back end, it should point to this. So I will make a CNAME entry which would host my this at entry because it is the root domain, or you can say stop being lazy dot in and it will point to this here you can have ttl as per your decision half an hour to allow one day one week custom so what i do is i created a dot a entry i created a txt record which is pointing to at which is the root domain which is stop being lazy dot in and then i mentioned txt value it should point to this assert test dot web dot net and also I created one A record as well, which would point to the IP address of the domain name, which is this, my web app that I have created. So now if you click on validate, it will use my A dot example. And it is verifying the host name availability and the domain ownership. It makes sure that I own this domain and I have created the necessary DNS records as well. So it will now, I would click on add, it will add the host name here. So you see stop being lazy dot in you see that so now if anybody 
if anyone browsed this stop being lazy dot in website he or she would come back to this url you can add as many domain names add many host names here using the same process this is the ssl settings part now you want to add the certificate for the https communication you will add binding first of all you will have to have certificate you can upload the certificate here make sure that you have the pfx file here you can browse it if you have one you will like you can have the certificate from godaddy very sign you can generate a self signed certificate using cert rec.exe as soon as you have the certificate you just have to click on add binding you will choose the domain name if you have multiple domain names added you can have it you will have to certificate it says no certificate match the selected host name so make sure that you either have the wildcard certificate or a specific certificate for this domain sni ssl and ip based ssl i will tell you the difference in future videos so in this video we covered how you can add the custom domain names using the dns either using the host a record or the txt record and the cname and how you can upload and bind an ssl certificate to a web app i hope you enjoyed this video and learned a new thing today make sure to ask your queries in the comment section and share this video on youtube with your friends on facebook on linkedin to have more audience and more awareness about azure 70-533 bye bye take care i'll see you in the next video